Savage, welcome back to another DCG tutorial. This one we're going to do the geolo geologic geometry question from the 2015 paper. So as I said before, we're not going to read through the question, we'll just start into it. So your road AB is going to be level at 65 meters. This is your 65 interval here, so this is B, and then that would be another point on the road. So I said you're using one is to one for cuttings and one is to 1.5 for embankments. So if you look at A, the level of A is between 50 and 55, 60 and going up to 65. So you need to fill up to the road, okay? So we're going to fill here, we're going to put in an embankment. So we go with one is to one, so we we'll go for cuttings, we'll go with five mil and then one is to 1.5 means you're going to do uh, 7.5 mil intervals up here, okay? So we'll fast forward through this. Okay, so each one of these lines is 7.5 mil apart. It's 7.5 instead of five mil because it's a fill, okay, you're putting in an embankment. So each one represents a five millimeter or a five meter uh, drop in altitude. So this is 65. So your first line here would be on your 60. So this gives you a point here. The next one would be 55, which is here. Next one is 50. You have another 50 here, and then another 55 off into the distance. So freehand lightly join them, put a curve in here, it's not a straight line, put a curve from the fifth 150 to the other, and then the next 55 will be out here somewhere to extend off to the end of the page. Next we're going from this 65 here up to B, which is also at 65, and this time the ground is rising, so we have a hill here of 17.55. So this is a cut, okay, we're gonna cut through that hill there, okay, through that altitude. So that means you're gonna to have to put in more sections here, and this time we're gonna have five mil, because it's one is to one for uh, cuts. Okay, so this is 65, your first line is at 70, so this is 70 here, first mark. Next line here is 75, which will give you that section there as well. Again, same one there for 70, and back up. And again, arc between your two 75 uh, points there. So that's the section of the road from A to B. Uh, which was leveled at 65 meters. So now a section from B to C is rising uniformly to a level of 70 meters at C. So we have 65 meters at B to 70 here at C. Okay. And the sides of the car park there, DE and GF, are level. So DE is level at 70. So that means this is actually a point here on your contours. And the side here, GF, is also level at 65. So here's our 65 mark. All right, and the rest then are all dropping as we're going along here. We're going to 60, 55, 50, and so on, okay? So that is going to be a fill, again here. You're filling up to the road, okay? So we'll do this edge first, and then we'll do the rising section on the edge here. Okay, so the line GE, the edge of the car park there is level at 65, so you have your 65 contour here. Next one then, so it's going to be on your 60, so follow your 60 around. That's going to be a point here. Then we have, next one out is 55, so this is a point here. And the next one then is 50, which is here, and on this contour as well. And remember, this was your 55, and we have 55 coming back along here again. That's your 55 there, and this is your 60, so you'll have another one there. So we'll join that all in freehand lightly and keep it light for the time being. Okay, so that is the contours for the flat edge here, GF. Now we're gonna to have to do this rising edge here. So it's rising uniformly, and it's rising up to 
70 uh, mil here. So this is a point on the going to start here. And because you're rising from F to E, and let's see here, it is, again, it's going to be a fill. So we have to go with our 7.5. We're going to put our cone up here at E. So you're going to draw your radius 7.5 around E and draw that tangent back to F. And then that's your angle then for the rest of the contours. Okay, so this is our angle and we're going to need to step that off a couple of times now, 7.5 mil again, to get uh, the rest of the contours. I'll just draw a line here. Okay, so point E is on 70. So your first line up there is going to be on your 65, which is here. Next one's on your 60. And then on the 55, it is here. And on the 50, it is there. And as you see, they'll end up intersecting. So join them in freehand lightly and make sure that you cross the first um, embankment you did there. Okay, so now draw them in strong where they intersect. So where the intersect is where you stop. So this is this point here. And that intersection line there, that intersection point between the two, join that back to F to get the full earthworks. Okay, so that is part A done. We've done the earthworks for the northern side of the road from A, B and C, and also the car park. So part B then, so on the map, vertical boreholes at points B or P, Q and R reveal the top surface of stratum of ore at altitudes of 30, 35, 45 respectively. So here we have our boreholes, P, Q, R, and they are drilled at, uh, or they're hitting the surface around them at certain heights, okay? Uh, in the space provided at the top of the map, draw the elevation of this triangular portion of the top surface of the stratum and determine strike and dip. So what we need to do is project these points straight up here to draw an elevation of the stratum. And you see here, they've already given you an altitude of 20 uh, meters. So if you keep going up in five mil increments, you can, it'll be five meter increments then, one is to one. And we can mark in points P, Q and R. Okay, so I'll fast forward to this. Okay, so that's the elevation of the stratum there, points P, Q, P, Q and R. And it asks us to determine the strike and dip. Okay, so determine the strike. So what I'm going to do is draw a line parallel to, say, X, Y line, in this case, the horizontal plane from Q. I'll put this in with a color just so it stands out. So what we're doing is giving a line across the surface there where it cuts the point or the line PR here. Bring that down, back down to line PR. Join it back to Q and it'll be a true length. Okay, so once we find our strike here, our true length of the strike, we can now do a point view of the strike and then figure out the dip once we have an edge view of the stratum, okay? So you're projecting an auxiliary elevation out here, so that means once you put your XY line, get your heights from the uh, elevation. So once you find the edge view of the stratum, to get the dip of it, the angle it makes, basically your x1, y1 there. So just put in a line here to indicate the dip. 
Okay, so basically the angle it makes with the horizontal plane. Okay, so that was part B. And uh, now for part C. Uh, so the lake is located in an area marked uh, L in the southeast corner of the map. The surface of the lake is at an altitude of 50 meters. The line ST represents the center line of an overflow pipe in the lake and uh, the pipe falls uniformly in angle of 10 degrees. Determine and indicate in meters the depth of the pipe vertically below the ground at point T. So what we need to do is project an elevation of that ST line, this is the plan, do an elevation of it, mark in our heights and do the 10 degrees fall to figure out. Okay, so the lake is at 50 meters, so we need to put in 50 meters, put in our 10 degrees and we'll figure out the height though. So do that, get the angle and project up perpendicular to it. Okay, so this is our XY line, that's 50 meters above the was it, ground level and that's where the lake is and the overflow pipe is falling uniformly at 10 degrees. So if we put in a 10 degree line from there, we can uh, figure out the height down then underneath the ground for point T. Okay, so this is the elevation of it. It's falling down there at 10 degrees. And if 50 meters is your ground level there, it's asking you to indicate how far down below the ground is point T. So the ground level, as you see here at point T, is at 40 meters. So we're gonna put in 40 meters here, draw straight across, and then we can indicate the distance down from ground level at that point T is. So the distance from the ground, 2.T there, is 8 meters. Because it's 8 millimeters and we went to the scale of 1 milli because 1 meter. So that gives you the height there of 8 meters. So you've got to be careful that, that you see that the point T is actually on the 40 meter contour there. Okay, and that is the question done. So uh, like other questions, this was a request like you see here. And... Uh, Hope this helps. Again, if you want any more questions, I have one or two more questions to do. Uh, but if there's anyone you want to see done, just let me know in the comment section below. Okay, thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.